Hi Greedy 3D, as you know how much we love to test new resins here at the Greedy 3D Man Cave. Today is no different. We're going to be testing this. This is the Pro Resin from Inslogic and we're going to be testing this in the Ultracraft Reflex RS to see if it works. If you're interested, stay tuned. So let's start testing in Slogic. Let's try it in the Ultracraft Reflex RS. Here we have the Pro Resin in its unusually shaped bottle in its uh, dark grey colour. I'm going to give it a really good old shibby shake and I thought I'd throw it into the RS. I'm not going to put too much in because I'm just going to be printing the Frozen XP test at this stage just to test the PAP 10 setting. So I'm using PAP 10 and a Frozen XP test. So in it goes, tell it to print and around about 17 minutes later and voila there is the frozen test all ready to go now just watch the way it comes off the build plate i always think this is a sign of a good resin just slide that metallic scraper underneath and whoosh off it comes in one piece in one swoop beautiful let's get it cleaned up and have a closer look at it under a macro lens well you can see that it's uh, it's printed absolutely fine i'm happy with the exposure settings there i think if i'm being critical my ipa needs changing there's some marks still there i think i need to change my ipa you'll see what i mean later i'm happy with this it's not overexposed it's not underexposed everything looks good this is the first print pap 10 just tell it to go and away it goes with the inslogic pro resin happy with how that's come out let's test it a little bit further this is doom guy from hell creator if you remember doom the video game he's made the main character from that it's absolutely beautiful all i'm going to do is pop it on the build plate uh, i'm going to change the settings in the supports i'm just going to go into advanced settings and change the contact shape from sphere to none and then i'm going to auto generate the supports that's all i'm going to do and i do that in most if not all of my models these days and it just helps with the uh, the little pits and the marks that you see in the support settings afterwards so this is going to go across to the ultracraft reflex rs there is the resin there is the rs and i'm using the pulsing release module to print this which is the additional module for the uh, rs and uh, i've done a whole video on that if you want to check that out i'll try and put a link in the description for you and the printing process begins seven hours ish later the printing process ends and it's all done wonderfully now i've printed that uh, a different thing that thing in blue there just to hang my bill plate to let the resin drip off i've done a video on that too i'll put a link in the description and look how this comes off the build plate a great sign of a great resin and great settings and a great printer it's just how easy it slips off the build plate so it comes off like a doddle but it held on through the printing process perfect what I'm going to use to clean it is this uh, Form Labs cleaning solution that came to me with my Form 4. I just love this cleaning solution. You literally press the button, it raises the tray out, you press another button and it puts it in and cleans it. Now, I apologise for the state of my IPA. If you want to tell me how bad it looks, then please do tell me in the, de uh, the description and um, yeah, pop the comments down below. That all helps the algorithm, of course, but look how dirty that IPA is. I should be ashamed of myself. And while that's cleaning in that filthy IPA, I'm going to put some more Inslogic in just to top it back up again to do a number two print of the Doom Guy. And uh, I think it was about 10 minutes later I cleaned this and it out comes. The thing I like about this cleaning solution is it presents the model to you like a phoenix rising from the ashes like a gift of cleanliness well mostly cleanliness looking at that ipa out it comes and i'm just going to pop it onto my cleaning mat there it's still on the supports as you can see now there's two ways to get the supports off either let it soak in some very hot water for a few minutes not boiling water not for too long or if you're really lazy use my i'm using my hair dryer obviously not my hair dryer as i have no hair to use this is mrs greedy's hair dryer that i have taken without i've twocked it taken it without consent and i'm just going to heat up those supports just a little bit not too much i don't want them to melt and look how the model just falls away and look how it falls away on this one heating those supports has done the job and it's left very few little marks there's going to be some cleanup to, to do but not a huge amount second load is printed and finished and again has come out beautifully one thing i did notice with the inslogic resin is and it's it's a little brittle it's not going to break easily but i just noticed that compared to some other resins i've been trying lately this is a little bit more brittle now nothing on doom guy broke but in i'm just being completely transparent and honest it was a little more brittle than i've used with other 
resin it's just something to be aware of if you drop this off the desk i've got no doubts things would break i've got no doubts at all but having said that look at the quality of this print it is just beautiful now hats off to hell creator but oh, look at that i can talk for hours can't i but the, the picture will say everything the detail of the resin is beautiful the printer has done a marvelous job on pap 10 settings it's and i've literally just said pap 10 print and that's it now messing with lift distances exposure times pauses after print none of that pap 10 rs print and away it's gone now you know i'm an advocate of the uh, ultracraft reflex rs and you know that i i've made many videos where you don't have to use their proprietary resins to print and here's another fine example of that hell um hell studios uh, creation here looking beautiful i'm so so happy with how he looks now i know that i harp on about the ultracraft reflex rs and you've seen numerous videos of mine where i've put cheaper resins in and wonderful results have come out the Inslogic pro is no different at all using the pap 10 setting we've got perfect prints absolutely perfect and that's the joy with the Autocraft Reflex RS. If you don't want to mess around with settings, if you don't want to mess around with exposure times, if you just want to literally press print and have a decent print, then the Autocraft Reflex RS is certainly a printer that I can recommend. It's not the cheapest printer out there. I know that you can get cheaper printers, but from my experience, it is definitely well worth looking at if you don't want the aggro around 3D printing because everything about it is just so so easy to use it's a wonderful machine if you want to agree with me let me know in the comments if you want to disagree with me let me know in the comments it's really nice to hear from you because not everybody shares my opinions but i like to think that my opinions are based on what i can prove it does to you guys um, if you want to buy one there's some links down down below in the description um, i will be getting a code really really soon to get some money off it. it's an affiliate link so a little bit will get back to the channel but if you don't want to buy through the affiliate link just go straight to their website, use the same code and you'll get some money back. It's absolutely fine. Um, if you like what you see today, please subscribe to the channel. Think about joining the Greedy 3D Patreon. That's just some ways that you can support this little old channel. And rest assured, if you're into these kind of videos, I will carry on trying everything I can in the Autocraft Reflex RS and see if it works. Um, in Slogic Pro Resin, 22 quid a kilogram, not horrendously priced, works flawlessly. I'll see you next time on Greedy 3D. Thank you.